Uh, if there were a, an element in your game that you guys could duplicate from the other night, uh, tonight, what, what part of it would it be, do you think? Um, I mean, there's lots to improve on from the other night. So, uh, I mean, we scored uh, a couple of power play goals that, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we want to stay hot, hot on the power play. When it comes to the penalty kill, um, when you've got guys that can shoot the way Matthews can and such, just how aware do you have to be? Like Dave Tippett's been talking a lot about being in those proper lanes, but they can kind of change those lanes on you with mobility. So how much of a challenge is that? Yeah, it is. And it's, it's something we talked about and we have to improve on. Um, and we will. We're, uh, we're taking the steps to do so. And, and I mean, real good shooters. So we have to try and limit what they have. And, and uh, yeah, that's something we'll be working on. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Kyle, the, the standard uh, with the referees this year with the slashing penalty, they do seem like they're kind of ticky tack where you're barely hitting a guy on his gloves. Is the standard changed or does it seem like, okay, they got a mandate from head office and they got to start calling more of those slashing penalties? Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's changed so much or just kind of, um, yeah, just being more cognizant of what the rule was coming out of the lockout. And, you know, I think it was 5 6 or 4 5 to begin with, and then 12 13. Um, I mean, it's always uh, uh, at the start of the year um, trying to find that balance. And, yeah, just got to be smarter with our sticks and, and make sure we're, we're uh, not kind of pushing the boundary. Thank you. Rob Tuchkowski, Post Media. Hey, Kyle. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing with the lines tonight, but what have you thought about your uh, time with uh, Cassian and Neil? Uh, it seems like you guys were around a lot of good looks. Uh, do you see something developing? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, they're both real good players, and um, just finding that chemistry together. And, and uh, they're big, strong um, uh, players that, yeah, we can cycle and, and create, and I think we're taking steps in the right direction to do that over the uh, last game and, and the game before that and just looking to continue to build on that. How's your own adjustment going uh, since arriving at Edmonton? You know, coming to a new team is always tough. Are you kind of where you need to be? How long till you're sort of uh, the Kyle Turris you want to be? Yeah, I mean, it's a uh, uh, work in progress. Um, just trying to find that uh, um, rhythm and, and consistency and, and just kind of the player I want to be and uh, yeah I mean it's it's uh, nine games in now and and uh, I got to get going and, and find that rhythm and um, I mean there's there's times where it's there and times where it's not and I just got to find that consistency and and uh, yeah and contribute to help the team more.